In this video, I'm going to be going over how to build a WordPress website with Kinsta step by step from start to finish. I'll be showing you how to access professional and pre-made WordPress website templates to make creating your WordPress website an easy process. I'll also be going over how to edit your website using one of the most popular drag and drop editors, Elementor Page Builder, so you can create a professional looking WordPress website on Kinsta via drag and drop. I'll also be covering how to set up Kinsta DNS, how to set up your own domain name from a domain register in Kinsta, how to point your name service to Kinsta, and how to set up the free SSL certificate. I provide the link to Kinsta in the description below so you can easily follow along with me in this quick and easy Kinsta tutorial. Kinsta is offering two months free on annual plans. The two months are deducted from the total cost of the annual plan cost. You can always pay monthly as well. A little disclosure, the link is an affiliate link, meaning I receive a commission from Kinsta at no extra cost to you. Let's get started with the Kinsta WordPress tutorial. The first thing you want to do to build a WordPress website with Kinsta is to click the link in the description below so you can be taken to Kinsta. You'll be on the Kinsta Manage WordPress hosting page shown here. Click the View Plans button. You'll now be on the Kinsta Manage WordPress hosting pricing page. Scroll down to the Kinsta plant section. You'll see you'll get two months free by choosing Kinsta's annual plans. You can toggle the plan to pay yearly or monthly. If choosing yearly, two months are free and deducted from the Kinsta plan's yearly cost. I'll toggle it back on to monthly for this tutorial. Kinsta offers free migrations if you are moving over from another hosting provider, as well as a 30 day money back guarantee. Another cool thing about Kinsta is they offer instant prorated refunds. All plans come with a free SSL certificate, CDN, and site staging. You'll see the starter, Pro, Business 1, Business 2, Business 3, and if you click the arrow, you can toggle it all the way to the end. Lots of plans to choose from based on your needs. For most, the plans needed are some of the beginning plans, so I'll toggle my way back to those. The starter plan comes with just one WordPress install and is good for up to 25,000 website visits per month. The starter plan comes with 10 gigabytes of storage, 100 gigabytes CDN, one premium migration, two PHP workers, and 14 days backup retention. This is a popular plan if you're going to have just one website. If you need a plan for two websites, the Pro Plan is a good plan as it includes two WordPress installs and allows 50,000 website visits per month. The Pro Plan comes with 20 gigabytes of storage, 200 gigabytes CDN, two premium migrations, and everything else the starter plan comes with. The Business One Plan allows for five WordPress installs and allows 100,000 visits per month. The Business One plan comes with 30 gigabytes of storage, 400 gigabytes CDN, three premium migrations, four PHP workers, and everything else the starter and pro plans come with. If you need more WordPress installs, you can choose the plan that best suits your needs as there are lots more plans to choose from based on your needs. Once you find the plan you want to click the sign up button, I'll select the starter plan for this tutorial. You'll not be on the Kinsta Create Account page. You want to fill in your information. Agree to the terms of service and privacy policy. I'll scroll down and you'll see some available add-ons you can purchase after subscribing to a Kinsta plan. I'll scroll back up and click the Continue button. You'll not want to input your billing information in. Once done, put in your card details. Click the Finish Up button. Kinsta will now start creating your plan. You'll be taken to the Kinsta dashboard. You'll see WordPress site in the Create a Site button. Click this to continue in installing WordPress on Kinsta. The Request Migration button is if you want Kinsta to migrate your site over from another web hosting provider you are moving from. I'll click the Create a Site button. You'll see Install WordPress. Click this option. Click the continue button at the bottom of the page. Next, you want to enter your site title. This is to identify your site in the Kinsta dashboard only. Next, you want to select the data center location. By clicking the drop down, 
you can choose through lots of data centers. I'm going to choose Dallas for mine. Once you have your data center picked out, click the continue button at the bottom of the page. You'll now be on the add new WordPress site page. Enter the WordPress site title name you want for your site. Next, choose an admin username used for logging into WordPress. Choose a password for logging into WordPress. Input the email address to be used for your WordPress site. You can select a language from the dropdown. You'll see selections at the bottom like install WooCommerce. If you're going to have an e-commerce site, I recommend selecting WooCommerce. You can also download this once logged into WordPress. You'll see install Yoast SEO. This is one of the most popular SEO plugins for WordPress. You can choose this if you'd like or download this one or another in the WordPress dashboard. Lastly, you'll see install easy digital downloads. This makes managing and selling things like eBooks, PDF documents, or anything digital an easy process. Once you have everything filled out and selected, click the continue button at the bottom of the page. Kinsta will now start creating your site. This will take a few minutes. Once it is done, you'll see your site has been created. Click the Manage Domains button to proceed. You'll now be on the domain section in the Kinsta dashboard. You'll see your site title name with a temporary Kinsta URL. You can access your site and edit it using the Kinsta URL if you want to before connecting a domain name. Just click the Open WordPress Admin tab and you'll be taken to the WordPress login page where you can log in to be taken to the WordPress dashboard. Before we start creating and building our WordPress website with Kinsta, I want to go over setting up DNS with Kinsta, along with adding your own domain name and pointing your domain to Kinsta, as well as setting up the free SSL certificate. Kinsta's DNS is a premium DNS service that is included with Kinsta, which is fast. To start, click Kinsta, at the top to be taken to the main Kinsta dashboard page. From here, you'll see DNS. Click this. You'll see add your first domain. Click this. You'll see the add new domain button. Click this. Add in the domain name you'll be using for your site. If you haven't already purchased a domain name, a domain name provider I use and recommend is Namecheap. I provide a link in the description below to Namecheap along with a domain name promo code that will save you money on a domain name purchase. You can get a domain name for most domain extensions for under $10. And Namecheap domain name purchases come with free domain privacy for as long as you have the domain with Namecheap. Once you have your domain name entered in, click the Add Domains button. You'll now be on the DNS management page where you'll see the Kinsta name servers you want to add with your domain register. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add the name servers using Namecheap, one of my favorite picks for purchasing domain names. I'll log into Namecheap. I'll click the Manage button next to the domain I want to change the name servers for. Under the Name Server section, from the dropdown, select Custom DNS. I'll now copy in name server one from Kinsta, name server two. I'll click add name server. I'll copy in name server three. I'll click add name server and copy in name server four. Click the green check mark when you are done. Something to note, it can take up to 24 hours for these changes to take effect, but typically happens pretty quickly. While the name servers are propagating, we want to add a DNS record. Click the Add a DNS record button. Where you see the IP4V address, click into the search bar and you'll see your URL populate. Click your URL. You want to select Add DNS Record with and without www. Click the Add DNS Record button.
scroll down and you'll see the A record in C name is showing and set up correctly. Once the name servers are propagated, you'll see Kinsta's name servers are set up correctly and that your domain name points to Kinsta. You now want to click WordPress sites in the left side menu. You'll see your site name showing here. Click this. Click domains in the left side menu. Next, we want to add the domain to Kinsta. You'll see add domain. Click this. You now be on the add domain page. Where you see domain, you want to type in the domain name you have purchased from a domain register. I'll go ahead and type in a domain name I have purchased. If you click advanced options, you'll see add domain with wildcard is selected by default. I recommend keeping this selected. Kinsta provides free SSL certificates for sites hosted at Kinsta. If you have your own SSL certificate that you've purchased, you can select the second option. Click the add domain button to proceed. It'll begin adding your domain. Once it is done, you'll see we have added your domain name to the WordPress site. Kinsta is now updating your DNS records to verify this domain and generating a SSL certificate for your site. This process may take up to an hour. Kinsta will email you when your domain is live. You can click the close button. Something I want to mention is if your DNS is not with Kinsta and is through a domain register or another DNS service, you will see this pop-up where you'll need to add the text record and CNAME record to verify your domain name with Kinsta. You'll see here on the domain page, the setting up domain. You can refresh this page every once in a while to see if your domain has finished being set up in Kinsta. Once it is done, you'll see the check mark icon show up next to it. We now want to make the domain name our primary domain. Click the three dots over to the right of the domain. Click make primary domain. On this page, it'll have your domain name selected. You'll see the run search and replace after change option. I recommend selecting this option. That way you don't have redirects to old URLs in your database. This doesn't affect the email addresses. If you need to change those, you can do so in the search and replace tool, which I cover shortly. Click the make primary button. It'll now begin making the domain your primary domain. You'll see the domain we added now says primary. Next, let's implement the free SSL certificate and change our URL to HTTP to HTTPS. Up at the top, click the open WordPress admin link. You'll now need to log in to WordPress or if already logged in, it'll take you straight to the WordPress dashboard. From the WordPress dashboard, Hover over the settings tab in the left side menu. Click general. You'll see the WordPress address URL and the site address URL. Change the HTTP for both to HTTPS. Scroll down to the bottom and click the save changes button. It will now log you out of WordPress. Just log back in. Up at the top, you'll see your site is now secure. The last thing we want to do with the SSL is in the Kinsta dashboard, click tools in the left side menu. Scroll down to where you see force HTTPS, click enable. You'll see force all traffic to the primary domain. Select this option, click force HTTPS. It'll begin implementing forcing HTTPS. If for some reason this causes any errors on your site, after doing this, you can just click modify and from the drop down, select disable forcing HTTPS. Up at the top, you'll see live. Click this and from the drop down, if you click create new environment, this is how you can create a staging environment of your site. Now let's go over how to build a WordPress website and making edits to it. I'm here in the WordPress dashboard. 
we want to start by picking out a theme to begin creating a site. To pick out a theme for your site, on the far left, you will see tabs. Find the Appearance tab and hover over it. Click Themes, as this is where you can pick out a theme for your site. Next, click Add New Theme. You'll now see WordPress themes you can choose from. There's thousands of free themes to choose from. Now I want to show you how to access free professionally designed WordPress themes and how to edit them easily with the drag and drop editor. Type in Astra in the search field. Click the install button. Once it is done installing, click the activate button. Once it is done activating the theme, you want to find the plugins tab in the side menu. Click add new. In the search field, type in starter templates. You want to click install on it, then click activate. Hover over the appearance tab in the side menu. Click on starter templates. You now want to click the build your website button. Choose Elementor for the page builder. It'll now showcase a bunch of WordPress themes you can create your site with using drag and drop. You can type in the type of website you want to create to pull up templates based on that. You'll see a bunch of categories you can hover over and select to build your site. If you click a theme, it'll show you what it will look like so you can preview it. Click the X button to go back to the themes page. Now let me walk you through the steps on how to choose your theme and build your site with the drag and drop editor Elementor Page Builder. Select the theme you want. I'll choose this one. You can upload a logo if you'd like. You can do this at a later time, so if you don't have one now, no worries. Click the skip and continue button. You now want to choose the colors and font for your site. You can update these at a later time or change them whenever you'd like. Click the continue button. You'll now be on the tell us a little about yourself. You don't have to fill this out if you don't want to. Just make sure under advanced options you have each one selected. Click the submit and build my website button. It'll begin building your website. Once it is done, you'll be on the congratulations page. Click the view your website button. It'll take you to your website and what it looks like. Before we begin editing, we want to turn on some features in Elementor to make the editing process even easier and improve your site performance. Up at the top, you'll see your site title name. Hover over this and click dashboard. Find the Elementor tab in the left side menu and hover over it. Click Settings, click Features, select Activate All. This will activate an easier editor for creating your site along with performance features to help your site load faster. Scroll down and click the Save Changes button. Now let's go over how to make edits to the WordPress theme and how to use the drag and drop editor to create your site. From the WordPress dashboard, Hover over your site title name up at the top. Click Visit Site. To make edits to your site, click the Edit with Elementor tab on the top of the page. It will now bring you to the drag and drop editor where you can create your site quick and easy. To make edits to a part of the page, just click where you want to make edits and start making edits. I can change Create Your Website to my demo website. If you want to make edits to the background image, right click on the section, click edit section, click style, hover over the image and click the trash can icon if you want to remove the image. Click over the image and you can upload a photo to place here or click media library to upload images already uploaded in WordPress. I'll click the X button. 
If you click the plus icon at the top where it says add element, this is where you can get back to where you can drag stuff into the page. I'll scroll down a bit on the page. You can select what you want over on the left and drag it in wherever you'd like it. If you right click on an area, you can delete it if you don't want it. By right clicking, you can duplicate something if you need to duplicate it. You can drag something over to somewhere else on the page by selecting it and dragging it over to where you want it. I'll drag a text into the page. If you click to edit the text, you'll be able to make edits to the text like make it bold. You can link out a text to somewhere. If you click the settings icon, you can choose to have the link open in a new tab if you'd like. If you click toolbar toggle, it'll give you more options like changing the alignment of the text, changing the text color. You can undo and redo changes here. If you click style at the top, you can then make more changes to the text. If you click the pencil icon where you see typography, where you see family from the dropdown, you can select different fonts for the text. Where you see size, you can change the sizing of the text. Next, let's go over editing the button. I'm gonna click into a button. You'll be able to change the name of the text. You can link the button out to where you'd like it. If you click the settings icon next to the link, you can choose to have the link open in a new tab and make it no follow if you'd like. You can change the alignment of the button, the sizing of the button. Where you see icon, you can select to have an icon with the button. Where it says upload SVG, you can upload an icon. If you click icon library, you can view icons you can add to the button. You can change the positioning of the icon and more. If you click style, you can make changes to the font used and colors for the button. If you click hover, this is where you can make edits to the font and colors on the button hover. Scroll down to this section here. If you wanna change an image of a section or add in an image for a section, right click in the section. Click edit section, click style, You'll see the image if the image is there. This is where you can edit the image. Remove the image by clicking the trash can icon or adding an image if there isn't one there for the section. I'll click choose image. I'll select an image I've already uploaded into WordPress. I'll click the select button. The image is now showing. If you want to add some color along with the image, click the background overlay section, find the color tab. You can now change the color. Drag the opacity to the left or right to get the desired look you want. Next, scroll up to the section above this. If you want to change the background color of a section of the site, right click in the section. Click edit section, click style, where you see background type, click classic. You'll see color under it. Click this and you can change the background color of the section. Next, let's cover adding a section to your site. If you hover over a section, you can click the plus icon and then click the plus icon showing again to add a new section to the page. I'll select this one. You can now drag in something over into the section. If you click the middle icon with the dots, you can then edit that section. If you click the X button, it'll completely remove the section from the page. If you click into a section, click the middle icon with the dots, you can drag it up or down to move that section to somewhere else on the page. Next, let's scroll down to the bottom of the page to the Drag Widget Here section. If you click the Starter Templates icon, you can click Blocks in the menu 
and then it'll give you lots more page design ideas you can choose from. Up at the top, you can select categories for blocks to show. I'll choose a block to add to the page. I'll click this one, and then I'll click the import button to import it to the page to then start adding your own content and editing it how you want it. Now I want to cover the contact us form to show you how this works. I'm going to click the plus icon in the drag widget section. I'm going to click a structure for the section. I'll choose this one. I'm just going to drag over the WP forms. You can select a form. If you want to make edits to the form, click edit the selected form. You can click to create a new form if you want to create a new form. I'm going to click edit the selected form. It's now going to bring up the builder with a contact us form. You can hover over an area to delete it or duplicate it. You can click an area and drag it to wherever you'd like it. If you want to add something, you can drag it over from the side. If you click field options, you can click on a part of the form and then make changes from the side. You can select to make this part of the form a required or not required part to fill out. If you click advanced, you can click the part of the form you want to change and then you can select between the size of the form field for that area and then change if you want anything to show in the form field where they input their information. You can click preview to preview the form. Click save to save changes. When you are done, click the X button and you'll be taken back to the editor for the page. If you click settings, you'll be in the general section where you can edit things for the form. Spam protection allows you to toggle on spam protection options. Notifications is where you can put in the email the form info should be sent to in the from email address showing to the person who filled out the form and the confirmations is where you can put in a confirmation message that shows to the person who filled out the form. I'm back on the editor for the page. Let's get to know the drag and drop editor Elementor better. You'll see publish in the top right. Click this when you want to publish changes you've made to your site. If you click the arrow you can save the page as a draft or save the page as a template to then use as a template for another page you create. To view changes you've made to your site, click the eye icon and it'll show you a preview of your site. If you click the desktop icon, it'll show you what your changes look like on desktop devices. The tablet icon will show tablet devices and the mobile icon will show mobile devices. If you hover over the site settings icon and click it, you can change things like the colors of your entire site, fonts used, and more. If you click the Elementor menu icon and click history, and then click revisions, it'll list out all the revisions for your site that it has pre-saved. If you click one, it'll bring your site edits back to how they were at the time of that edit. If you click the Elementor menu icon and click Manage Website, it'll take you to the WordPress dashboard. If you want to make edits to a certain page on your site, you can click it in the menu and then click Edit with Elementor. To go to the WordPress dashboard, hover over your site title name and click Dashboard. If you hover over the Pages tab, click Add New to add a new page to your site. If you click All Pages, it'll showcase all the pages on your site. If you hover over the Media tab and click on Library, it'll show you all the images you have uploaded in WordPress. If you click Add New at the top, you can then upload or drag in an image into WordPress. If you hover over Post and click Add New, you can create a new blog post for your site. If you click all posts, it'll pull up all the posts you have on your site. If you click the comments tab, you will see all the comments you have on your blog post. You can easily reply, 
Mark it as spam or trash the comment. If you hover over the plugins tab and click add new, you can then search for or browse plugins to add to your site. Any feature or customization you might want on your site, more than likely there's a plugin for that. If you hover over the appearance tab in the left side menu, click on menus. This is where you can edit the menu on your site. Where you see select a menu to edit, you can choose menus to edit for your site. You can add new pages to the menu or drag a page to a different order. If you click the tiny arrow, you can change the name of it or completely delete it from the menu. If you want to create a completely new menu, you can click create a new menu. If you want to have subcategories show in the menu, just add the items to the menu and place it a bit to the right under the menu name you want it to show under. I'll add a few under services I'll click Save Menu. I'll now pull up the view of my site. When I hover over Services, you'll notice the submenu isn't showing. This doesn't happen on every template, but this one, I'm using a transparent header. To get the menu items to show correctly, click Customize in the top menu. Click Header Builder. Click Transparent Header. Click Design. Where you see submenu color under the text link section, click on the first one. You can now change it to a color you'd like. I'll select this one. I'll hover over the menu and you'll see they are now showing. To change the hover color, click on the second one. Change the color to what you'd like. Scroll up to the menu and on hover, you'll see the color has changed. Now let me show you how to make edits to the footer area of your site, along with uploading a logo, favicon, and other customizations. From the WordPress dashboard, if you hover over the appearance tab in the side menu and click customize, you'll be on the customize page. Click the footer builder. You can then click an area in the footer area where you see the pencil icon to start making edits to that section over on the left side. If you click the plus icon, you can then add whatever you'd like to the footer area in that section. If you click the design icon in the section of the footer you want to edit, you can then design things like the alignment, title, content, and link colors, title and content font size, and more. You can click the X button to remove that area from the footer. If you click the pencil icon here on the left hand side, you can then choose how many columns you want your footer to be. You can then click the plus icon to add sections to that part of the footer. I'm going to click the back arrow twice. If you click site identity, you can then upload a logo and a favicon, which is the site icon for your site. Click select site icon to then upload your site icon, also known as the favicon for your site. If you click site title and logo settings, you can then change the logo to your own and make other customizations to the logo area for your site. You now know how to access pre-made professional templates, how to build a WordPress website with a Kinsta, and making edits to it using the drag and drop editor, Elementor Page Builder. That is my Kinsta WordPress tutorial going over how to build a WordPress website with Kinsta step by step. If you have any questions, get in touch in the comments as I'm here to help you with anything you need. Give this video a thumbs up and leave us a comment letting us know if the tutorial was helpful or not as the comments help improve our tutorials. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more Kinsta tutorial videos.